This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famine, and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I give all praises, and glory, and honor to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rukar Kadash, Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shout out to Akim, scattered through the four corners of the road, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to Akim, uh, that be like unto the smoke of the word, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. I say uh, shout out to the Akim out there through the four corners of the road. And this is a uh, sit down lesson through the spirit of grace and mercy of the Hawaii Al Shah. On this July the 1st, 2022, at 10.22 Central Standard Time. And this is a news article from uh, VolcanoDiscovery.com. And this is uh, recently a, a, a moderate magnitude of a 4.4 quake hits. 72 kilometers northeast of uh, Mineb in Iran early evening. And I'm reading the news article of it. It says an earthquake of a magnitude of 4.4 uh, occurred early evening of Friday of July the 1st, 6.04 p.m. local time near Mineb. Harbor, Harbor Zagan, Iran, a report by the European Mediterranean Systemology Center, the EMSC, according to the preliminary data, the quake was located at a shallow depth of 10 kilometers. The shallow earthquakes are felt so much stronger than deeper ones as they are closer to the surface. Uh, the, the exact magnitude, epic center, and depth of the quake might be revised within the next few hours or minutes as systemologists reveals that data and refine their calculations or as agents issues their report. A second report was later issued by the Journal of Research Central of Geoscience, the GFC, which lists as a magnitude of a 4.5 quake towns or city near the epic center where quake might have been felt a very, very weak shaking, including uh, my, my, my near, uh, BOB 7800 located 72 kilometers from the ep epic center. The volcano discovery will automatically update magnitudes of depth if this change and follows up or other significant news about the quake become available. So yeah, you know, that was a 4.4 uh, earthquake and getting close to a 4.5 magnitude quake. It, it really didn't do much damage, but that's so why I was just bringing out the scripture doing a sit down lesson on it, you know, in regards to the Luke 21 and 11, you know, you're going to see uh, more magnitudes of increases above earthquakes in diverse places. And this was uh, another one recently too in uh, Israel, even though it's just a little minor, a little minor earthquake. Uh, this one from the time of Israel um, was published on June the 30th. This was uh, yesterday at 12 a.m. 12.18 a.m. I meant to say. By, published by the TOI staff. And this is from the time of Israel in a news article. And it reads, A minor earthquake shakes northern Israel. Latest in a series. A magnitude of a 3.1 quake. Reported near the beat. She and on the border with the Jordan Carter causing no damages or injuries. 
they said a three a minor 3.1 magnitude uh earthquake rattled northern israel on wednesday night in a area that has been a series of similar incidents in recent months residents throughout the north felt the trembling but there were no reports or injuries or damage the israel geological survey tackled the quake saying it was central of 13 kilometers eight miles northeast of Beth she ended on the border with Jordan at a depth of 13 kilometers. According to the military's home front commander, the early warning system was not active because the quake did not post a damage. The usual numbers of recent tremors fell in parts of the country has led some residents to believe a large earthquake is on the way with the home front commander holding a large national earthquake drill early this year, right? Because I did a report on, I did a video on that earlier this year too, yeah, makes sense. It says in January, a large 6.5 magnitude quake hits off the west coast of Cyprus and was felt in nearby Israel, Lebanon, and Turkey. It says less than two weeks later, two small earthquakes rattled uh, northern Israel within uh, within uh, hours, letting to the evacuations of a school of Hafla in the city of Bet Shein. In early February, another quake off the coast of Cyprus was felt in Israel. And what the Safra Geological Survey de uh, Department said was the aftershock of the large trembler that occurred off the eastern Mediterranean islands uh, the previous month. Last February, residents of northern Israel felt two small earthquakes within a number of hours. The first registered a 3.5 magnitude with the epic center northeast of Bet She in the second quake uh, measures of a 3.2 magnitude of the register scale and has a similar epic center. It says there were no reports of injuries or any Quakes, although some buildings developed cracks and property evaluations. Another minor earthquake happened off the coast last month. Israel lies along the Syrian African Rift, an active fault line that runs the length of the border separating Israel and Jordan. Major earthquakes in the area happen on an average once every eight years through the last occurred over a century. The ge geological experts has recently warned that some one million homes in Israel are a risk of collapse in an earthquake. Yeah, because I remember they said it was going to be a warning about this a, a potential. If, it, if there ever was going to be a large earthquake, they were saying the estimation of it is probably going to be like a magnitude of a 7.1 and then they can do some serious damage. But since then, they haven't had no big earthquakes since then. And I'm reading again. Geological experts have recently warned that some one million homes in Israel are at risk of collapse in an earthquake. It says, according to the estimates, a major earthquake could use about 7,000 deaths. This just you know, this just estimating statistics of uh, potentially uh, if a, a major earthquake might hit in Israel, you know. According to the estimate, a major earthquake could cause about 7,000 deaths and uh, 145,000 injuries with 100, 170,000 people left homeless and 
Cooney dies of buildings damage. So yeah, you know, that's an estimate of potentially what could cause a damage of an earthquake in there. But you know, in the last days, it's, it's gonna be a significant increase of uh, earthquakes in diverse places. And that's what we've been seeing lately from last year all the way into this year. You know, and I've been uh, covering these uh, stories about, you know, the increase of uh, earthquakes in diverse places in the world, you know, because you've been having like uh, magnitudes of earthquakes of a 6.9, close to a 7.1, 6.1, 5.7, 4.9, 3.4, 2.1, uh, double earthquakes in Portland, Oregon, off the coast of Portland, not too long ago. Then you had the uh, earthquakes not too long ago in the uh, uh, Peru, Brazil border. So, you know, you're going to have a more uh, increase of these uh, earthquakes in diverse places. You know, there's going to be times where, you know, some uh, of the earthquakes might not do significant damage. But once they do, oh yeah, about that earthquake, I forgot all about that. Even though it was about like uh, about uh, two weeks ago, uh, close to two weeks ago, because you had that large earthquake over there in Afghanistan, it was like uh, a thousand people had died, I believe. So yeah, imagine you know as I was reading this news article, but you know it's just estimate, you know, prediction estimate, you know, but. Uh, potentially, if Israel get hit with a high magnitude of an earthquake, you know, they was uh, listing the estimates of what potentially might could happen in that country if, you know, if they get hit with a high volume of a magnitude of an earthquake, potentially of a 7.0 or a 7.1 or a 7.5, and it could cause serious damage. Because that earthquake over there in uh, Afghanistan happened nearly two weeks ago, you know, killed out like about a thousand people. And that earthquake was only just like a, what, uh, 6.0 or 6.1. Just imagine you having a large magnitude of an earthquake of a 7.1 or a 7.0 or 6.7 can cause some significant damage and, you know, it can mess anything up with the increase of the magnitude of the earthquake, you know. Because, you know, an earthquake they can cause a lot of serious damage, especially it get a, at a high rate of the magnitude of an earthquake, you know. Because we, we well known seeing earthquakes, especially like in the West Coast here in, in America, like in California, places like that, you know. But you're going to see an increase in the last days, you know. There's going to be more uh, increase of uh, earthquakes in, around the world. You know, because I believe, uh, not trying to get off topic and nothing like that, but, uh, you know, as regards to the weather, uh, I believe uh, over there in India, they had like heavy floodings, I believe. And then there have been a lot of uh, landslides, mudslides, and stuff like that. You got to see the increase of that as well, too, even though they say it's climate change and, you know, Mother Nature and all that. But it's really the power of the Heavenly Father that does these things. And that's in the book of Isaiah 29 and uh, 6, I believe. And I can bring that out as well, too. Right, because it's, it's not Mother Nature that's doing these things. It's the Heavenly Father that's doing these things. Yep, this is the... Go right to it. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited with the Lord of hosts, with thunder, and with earthquake, and with great noise, with storms, and tempests, and the flame of the wildfire, right? Because you're going to see an increase in wildfires, volcano eruptions, uh, heavy storms, tornadoes, uh, earthquakes in diverse places, because this is all the will and the work of the Heavenly Father that do these things. You know, this is the will of Yahweh by Chanel Shadows doing these things. It's not, you know, it's not Mother Nature. It's not climate change. It's 
the ways of the Heavenly Father that does these things. Because like scripture said, the earth is his footstool, you know. in regards to earthquakes in diverse places this is the book of mark chapter 13 verse 8 for nations shall rise against nations and kingdom against kingdoms and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places and there shall be famines and troubles these are the beginning of sorrows right because it's going to be an increase of uh, more of a uh, more and more and more of uh, earthquakes in diverse places throughout the whole world you know it's going to increase even more you know it's gonna at times it's gonna cause a significant damage and then at times it might cause a small significant damage well you know we are gonna you know we're definitely gonna get into the time where you know these high magnitudes of these earthquakes is gonna increase even though it's been like up and down but it's gonna increase even more you know Revelation 16 and 18 and there were voices and thunders and lightning and there were a great earthquake such as was not since men were upon the earth so mighty an earthquake and so great right we're gonna see uh, a great storms uh, great lightnings I believe uh, since I brought out the scripture you know and the precepts uh, precepts of this uh, I believe it was a um, like that lets you know that the higher power that he he definitely exists you know because i believe uh, it was not too long ago about a week or two ago i believe uh, a woman a woman and a child and a dog you know they got they got struck by lightning you know that lets you know the heavy fathers and nothing to be played with you know i mean even though it's kind of messed up that the woman and the dog and the child got struck by a lightning. But that lets you know that the higher power definitely exists, you know. You know, a Heavenly Father, he's definitely a very strong power. He's a definitely strong power, you know. So yeah, you're definitely gonna see uh, these great earthquakes that's gonna cause significant damage. You're gonna have these damaging thunderstorms. Uh, these damaging heavy floodings, you know, because I believe uh, the weather center they made a prediction. I believe it was in early May, I think, because they saying that uh, not too long ago, off the coast of uh, Miami, Florida, over there, and the down south, uh, over here in North America, you know, they had where. Uh, you know, when hurricane season, normally hurricane season be like in October or September or whatever. But it was like an early prediction that, you know, they're going to have like heavy uh, earthquakes. Uh, new warnings of above average of uh, earthquakes and hurricanes can cause significant damage, you know. Especially off the coast of islands like Puerto Rico. And many, many other islands as well too, like Cuba and all that, et cetera, et cetera, for prime examples. And it could be basically around the world as well too. So yeah, that lets you know that's the, the, the power of the Heavenly Father that does these things. And it's not Mother Nature or climate change. That's why I brought out Isaiah 29 6, you know? And I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna bring it out again for edification sake. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse six. In verse 6 in the book of Isaiah, in the Holy Scriptures, it reads, um, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder, with earthquakes, and great noise, and storms, and tempests, and the flames of the fire, right? Because your how about shall not shatter, doing these things. Because the earth is his footstool, a roof of her phrase, you know? So, yeah, definitely. In these last days that we are living in, because we are living in biblical prophecy times, best believe there's going to be an increase of uh, earthquakes in diverse places around the world. There's going to be heavy storms, heavy floodings, heavy earthquakes, you know, mudslides, landslides. That's going to cause a lot of uh, significant damage, you know. These uh, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, all these things are designed 
and created by the higher power, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is the Heavenly Father, you know, Yahweh, you know. So with that, I uh, hope this was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashim, Wakar Kadash, double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, Christian word, truthfully and sincerely, and shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christian word, truthfully and sincerely, and shout out to the Akim, uh, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christian word, truthfully and sincerely, and until next time, I will say shout out and the ball, ball, ball.